butter. It's a tasteless, colorless, odorless substance. Even it does not have any shape. In this world, water is the most important and most essential resource gifted by the nature. It plays the most vital role for the existence of human beings and other animals. Not only that, it plays an important role on world economy. Over the years, increasing population, growing industrialization, expanding agriculture and rising standard of living have pushed up the demand for water. Now we have entered into an era of water crisis. The availability of fresh water is highly under stress. Already it affects every continent and it has been categorized by the World Economic Forum as one of the fourth largest global risks. Now in the world, one out of nine lack to access fresh water. It is estimated that after 10 years, approximately one out of three will suffer from water crisis. When the annual per capita of fresh water in a country or a region falls below 1000 cubic meters, the situation is labeled as water crisis. And when the per capita availability falls below 500 cubic meters, then the situation is regarded as absolute crisis. From the time of independence, the per capita availability of water in India came down to 1340 cubic meters from 6008 cubic meters. India receives approximately 4,000 billion cubic meters of water due to rainfall, but approximately 1,100 billion cubic meters water remain after evaporation. As per the Water Quality Index of Niti Ayo, India is now in the place of 120 among 122 countries. According to the Composite Water Management Index report released by the Niti Ayo in 2018, 21 major cities of India are racing to reach zero ground water levels by 2020. A survey conducted by Tata Institute of Social Science showed that 50 lakh households in Mumbai, Delhi, Kolkata, Hyderabad, Kanpur and Mathurai face the water deficiency. As per the ratio of supply and demand of water, Vishakapattanam is the most deficient city and Hyderabad is now in the least in India. In every year, we need 750 billion cubic meters of water. But only for agricultural irrigation, 688 billion cubic meters of water is used every year. Excessive use of water or wastage is the one of the vital reasons for water crisis. For over-increasing population, the growing industrialization and urbanization, the demand of water slowly overtaking the supply of water. According to the report of Niti Ayo, India will lose up to 6% in GDP in near future. So many rivers run dry for most of the year and other small and seasonal rivers are perishing permanently. That is why the instability between the neighboring states and countries is taking place. Hence, the central and state government jointly developing so many projects for balancing water demand with available supply. Why should we depend upon the government? It is expected to bring a positive mindset in the people for water preservation. 
hence a renowned organization namely global environment research foundation takes various initiatives like rainwater harvesting recycle of water sewage treatment plant micro irrigation to fight against this crisis apart from this they are making people aware of that so that people should reduce wasting of water it is our nature that we value things only when they are in short supply the time is short the situation is alarming so come forth immediately and fight against this crisis all together